Hey guys, there's this one place in Iceland that I kind of always wanted to see and that's the crashed American airplane fuselage in, in Sólheimarsandur, um, which is the black beach in the south. Um, I don't know, I just kind of always wanted to see this. Uh, it's part of the Icelandic history and, and it just still remains there, the fuselage. And I love history, so um, yeah, but before we go there, we kind of have to answer the question of why is there an American army plane in Iceland to begin with? And I'm not sure where to begin on that, but I guess we have to go back. And I mean like way back. So what do you say we sum it up real quick? Iceland, guardian of the United Nations North Atlantic lifeline. In 1940, the British army invaded Iceland during World War II. American forces then relieved the British a year later and remained there for the duration of the war, but returned in 1951 as the Iceland Defense Force. So, the plane. In 1973, on November 21st, an aircraft made a flight to Hotnafjordur airfield. Pilots took off for a returning flight to Keflavik with two Air Force passengers, a plane captain and two captains in training. Shortly into the flight, they encountered heavy icing. Both engines began to lose power, with propellers slowing down. The aircraft descended rapidly and broke out of the clouds over the Solheimajökull coastline. The crew prepared to ditch the aircraft into the ocean, but a last-minute decision was made to force land on the beach. And now, 40 years later, I can take a drive down to the black beach of Solheimasandur and see this. The Navy stripped the airframe to salvage useful parts and left the gutted fuselage to the elements. Beaten for years of harsh Icelandic weather has made a cool look. And memories of those who have been there carved into the fuselage make this trip so unique. Inside the airplane, man. Should we fix this plane up? I'm not sure, I think it's pretty much gone. Yeah, I believe it's broken. Yeah. The airplane is just in the middle of nowhere. It's just black sand all over and this one plane. down to the shore to watch the waves on this huge black beach. And now Iceland has no military, no defense force and less than 1,000 police officers. It's actually a privilege to live in a country where we don't need those things. I mean, we got the ocean, the mountains and all the freedom in the world to play around and travel. Isn't that what life's all about? Like my video guys, hit the subscribe button, like it and share the love. Like someone famous said, never stop exploring.